All right, fighthype.com. Happy to be joined here with one of the real warriors of the sport and of the featherweight division, my man, Joet Gonzalez, challenging for a world title again. Mexican Independence Day weekend on ESPN against Venado, Luis Alberto Lopez. Joet, man, how, how you feeling about fighting on Mexican Independence Day weekend, man? No Canelo, you know, no Chavez. It's you. It's you and Venado. Yeah, uh, you know, I feel very, very fortunate. You know, I want to thank Top Frank for the opportunity and my manager, Frank Espinosa, for getting this for getting this done. But uh, I feel great, you know, excited, motivated, as usual, and uh, I'm ready to put on the show. You know, you had tough fights with, uh, well, especially Navarrete was a war, and then, you know, Shakur Stevenson. This is your third time fighting for the title. Why is the third time the charm this time, Joette? It has to be, man. It has to be. Uh, this is it for me, you know. Uh, it's a blessing. Uh, like I said, I'm very happy and I'm very fortunate to have this opportunity again. But, uh, you know, I believe things happen for a reason, you know, and uh, I just got to take full advantage of this and, and make it my moment. You know, uh, a lot of people say Venado Lopez is an, is an awkward fighter. Do you feel that he is an awkward fighter and it's actually something you'll take advantage of? Yeah, you know, he's a little awkward, you know, just like Navarrete, you know, a little awkward, uh, not the typical fighters you usually see. But uh, it's effective. It's effective. Uh, their styles are effective. But, uh, you know, I think I prepared well. Um, and, I, and I'll be ready for, for whatever he brings to the table. Is this a, a do or die moment for your career? Yeah, most definitely. Just like my last fight. My last fight was, you know, a title eliminator. Um, and, you know, I came out victorious. So uh, it was also a do or die fight for me. Because, you know, if I would have lost to Vivas, then what, you know? So this is another do or die for me, uh, as in, you know, world title opportunities. Um, and so I just gotta, I just gotta make the most out of it and make this happen. What do you think you've learned from the other two times you, you fought to become champion that will help you become champion this third time? This is experience, experience overall. I think I've been in there with a better, uh, opposition, better fighters, uh, you know, I've been in those moments, so I have the, at a world title experience. I've gone 12 rounds, but I th just think it's just the experience. You know, I, I feel uh, confident that, that I face better opponents uh, than Vanilla has, and I think that's going to be a big factor. Are you the more technically sound fighter in the way you throw your punches and the way you defend? I think so. I think so. I think I'm more technically sound, more, more uh, smarter also. But, uh, you know, I got that grit in me as well, and I can I can go toe-to-toe -to -toe if he wants it like that, too. Do you think that's the kind of fight it is, toe-to-toe, -to -toe, or do you have to box a little bit to win this fight? I I can't. I won't know till I'm in there. Uh, I won't know till I see, you know, what he does or how he reacts, you know, because uh, he's been saying he's been wanting to knock me out, be the first one to knock me out, so... He might be saying that he might fight differently, you know, so uh, I just I don't know. Uh, I'll know when once I'm in the ring and once that bell rings. Does it ever feel like, you know, as a Mexican-American, when you face a, a champion from Mexico, like you have something to prove to him and to the fans of Mexico that you're a real Mexican fighter or, or something like that? No, I think he knows I'm a real Mexican fighter. I, I think he respects that. It's more uh, the public, uh, some of the public, you know, uh, they don't take us, you know, as Mexicans, they don't, they say we don't speak Spanish or we speak with an accent, but you know, I got, I got that Mexican blood in me. I got family out there, you know, in Guadalajara. I visit Guadalajara, you know, uh, every year for sure. I go out there and spend time with my family. So I got great support in Guadalajara and I just got to get great support from the whole, you know, Mexico. Coming, coming, you know, your roots coming from Guadalajara. Are you uh, like a Canelo supporter, being that he's from Guadalajara? Yeah, oh, yeah I like Canelo. Canelo's a hardworking guy. Um, he's, he's you know, done a lot uh, for himself and his family and for the sport. He's he's made history, and he's a great fighter. You ever try to take something? That, I know you like to apply intelligent pressure. Do you try to take some things from Canelo the way he applies pressure? Yeah, I've, I've taken some some moves from him, some techniques. Uh, you know, I've always watched videos of uh, fighters I like and fighters that I can learn things from, and I've I've learned a couple things from him. Who who are some other fighters you try to learn from when you watch tapes? I I, I used to watch a lot from uh, Marco Antonio Barrera. 
uh, Romano Marquez, uh, Oscar Deloya, um, you know, Sugar Shane Mosley, uh, those those fighters I, I would watch and, uh, you know, pick up some things. You know, you, you come from a fighting family, your sister, your, your father, and, you know, so many people in your family love boxing. What would it mean, not just to you, but to your family, Who's, who's had to be there each time you've challenged yeah. themselves to get over to win this one for them, not just yourself. No, I mean, it'll mean everything to me and to them, you know, I mean, it'll mean so much because, you know, my parents coming from, you know, well, I had uh, to over here for a better life, you know, and obviously, you know, my siblings and myself being born here and it would just mean so much, you know, that the, 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 the struggle and, and, you know, the sacrifices uh, at the end of the day, it, 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 it was worth it. So it would mean, it would mean everything. You feel like a big money fight. If you win this fight is the monster in moving up to 26. Do you think that's a big, big opportunity um, potentially down the line? If you win this fight. Uh, possibly, you know, cause he still has his own fights. Uh, you never know what can happen in boxing. Like, you know, Crawford Spence, People thought it was going to be even fighting. It was a blowout once someone got cracked, you know? So same with Inouye, you know, Inouye's good, but what if what if he gets hit and he don't react the same, you know? Or or what if uh, his opponent is tougher than what he thinks? So you just never know. Um, I've been at 26 for a while. Uh, like I told someone previously, I'm not going to wait also for like a year, two, three years for him to come up or something like that. I'm sure he has other ideas. I'm sure he probably wants to defend those belts. Um but we'll see. Uh, I think I've proven that I'll fight whoever, whenever. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll, if, if he comes up in time, yeah, I'm down to fight. How, how do you see your fight going with Venado? Obviously, you see yourself winning the fight. but And I know you can't give away game plan, but how do you see the fight playing out? Uh, me winning. I, I see myself winning. Uh, I believe it'll be a tough fight for both of us. You know, he's he's won the belt in anime territory and he's defended it also in anime territory so you know it's a it's a fighter that's not scared to to lose you know he'll go and fight anywhere to to, to win and he's been on the b side as well so you know he's been the other dog and, and uh you know he's just it's a dangerous fighter it's a dangerous fighter but uh, i see myself coming out victorious well man i think i think that says it best brother thank you for your time joette uh, look forward September 15th from Texas on ESPN fighting for the featherweight title. If there's anything else, you know, you want fans to know before fight time, you know, please uh, say it now. <laughs> I just want to say thank you to, you know, everybody that's been supporting me. Uh, you know, my family, my team, my friends, uh, top rank, my manager, Frank. Um, just want to say thank you uh, through my ups and downs. I appreciate it. And September 15th, I'm, I'm going to give you guys another great fight. And you guys are going to be hearing a new IBF world champion. Thank you, Joanne. And good luck to you, brother. Thank you. Thank you, Sean.